Shalom, you guys. Can I read to you one of my favorite Psalms? Psalm 37. Do not fret of the evildoers. Do not be envious of the workers of unrighteousness. For they soon wither like grass and fade like green plants. Trust in you who and do good. Dwell in the earth and feed on steadfastness. And delight yourself in you and let him give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to you and trust in him. And he does it. He shall bring forth your righteousness as light and your right rulings as midday. Rest in you and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man doing wicked devices. Abstain from displeasure and forsake wrath. Do not fret also to do evil, for evildoers are cut off. But those who wait on Yahuwah shall inherit the earth. Yet a little while, the, and the wrong is no more. And you shall look on his place, but it is not. But the meek ones shall inherit the earth and delight them, themselves in plenty of peace. The wrong plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. Yahuwah laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wrong have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cause the poor and needy to fall. To, lay, to slay those who walk straightly. Their sword does enter into their own heart, and their bows are broken. Better is a little of the righteous one than the richest of many wrongdoers. For the arms of the wrongdoers are broken, but Yahuwah sustains, sustains the righteous. Yahuwah knows the days of the perfect, and the inheritance is forever. They are not ashamed of in a time of evil, and in the days of scarcity of food, they are satisfied. But the wrongdoers shall perish. And the enemies of Yahuwah, like the splendor of the meadows, they vanish. Like smoke, they vanish away. The wrongdoer is borrowing and does not repay. But the righteous shows favor and gives. For he is blessed once, for his blessed ones inherit the earth. But those cursed by him are cut off. The steps of a man are ordered by Yahuwah. And he delights in his way. Though he falls, he is not cast down. For Yahuwah is supporting his hand. I have been young and now I'm old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Or his seed begging bread. All the day long he is showing favor and lending. And his seed is for a blessing. Turn away from evil and do good and dwell forever. For Yahuwah loves right ruling. And does not forsake his kind ones. They shall be guarded forever. But the seed of the wrongdoers is cut off. The righteous shall inherit the earth and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom and his tongue talks of right ruling. The Torah of his Elohim is in his heart and steps do not slide. The wrong one is watching for the righteous and seeking to slay him. Who does not leave him? in his hand, or let him be declared wrong when he is judged. Wait on Yahuwah and guard his ways, and he shall exalt you in, in the in, he shall exalt you to inherit the earth. When the wrongdoers are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wrongdoer in great power, and spreading himself like a native green tree, yet he passed away, and see, he was not. And I sought him, he was not found. Watch the perfect and observe the straight, for the latter end of each is peace. The transgressor shall be destroyed together. The latter end of the wrong shall be cut off. But the deliverance of the righteous is from Yahuwah. Their strength in the time of distress, and Yahuwah does help them and deliver them. He delivers them from the wrongdoers and saves them because they took refuge in him. Hallelujah. And I think you can see why that's one of my favorite psalms uh, of, of all of them. Shalom, you guys. It's the Code Searcher. Jonathan here once again, uh, trying to catch up with you. I saw uh, so many emails and messages come in in the past several weeks that I felt led to put out the teaching video that I did uh, a couple of days ago with a little note down at the bottom. 
However, I don't think that was sufficient to many because you still, I don't think some of you saw it, in other words. So I have to do this video and kind of catch you up. So I've been busy the past couple of months um, dealing with the divorce. Many of you know, I've been going through one heck of a year this past year, and um, I'm still going through it. Got the wrap up of the year. I'm uh, in the middle of discovery where I'm having to go through years and years of financial reports and taxes and all that kind of stuff because... It's being required of me. Look at that. More than 500 pages of this stuff. And uh, the attorney told me it's, it's excessive. So I'm, I'm in the middle of this with the knowledge that it's excessive. And, um, but, you know, I have to play the game. I have to go through all of this. Um, and it's not pleasant, you guys. Um, I've stated before, I don't want to fight. I really don't want to do that. Uh, I was looking at some of the statistics for divorces in Hawaii, and it can get pretty steep on what it costs with the lawyers. The lawyers get everything. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to be civil. I'm trying to be calm in this whole thing and um, just get through it with, you know, my dignity and a little bit of peace. You know, and one thing I've noticed in, in going through these financials, I put a lot of money in that farm, a lot of investment, a lot of money in those cows, my bees. And uh, I, you know, not too long ago, told you guys, I was just ready to let it all go just to be done. Since I've been forced to do this and I've had to look at the numbers and the money that's been spent on, um, which is essentially half mine, um, I can't just let it go like that. I have to do what I have to do to recoup something back. Um, I really hope that she can be civil. We can both be civil and level-headed and fair, especially when the judge sees all of this documentation um, of who was, who was doing what and paying what. Um, I think there's no question when, when this is seen. Um, so please be praying for me and for Darla. This is not pleasant, you guys. And I don't want to hurt anybody. I, I never did. And I'm no threat to her. But I'm not just going to let her walk all over me and take, you know, something that, you know, I invested in. Right? So um, it is what it is. It's It's kept me very busy and preoccupied and quite frankly, it's kept me in a state of, you know, I've been battling seasonal depression, um, staying on the island for many years and then suddenly coming to a place where there's a winter, I, I discovered that I was going through these waves of depression and this divorce has compounded that. So it's made it a little worse. So I've been back and forth between my moms and uh, coming to Florida, hanging out with some Hebrews here because the weather is more, um, is more than what I was acclimated to for almost six years. Um, so more sunshine. Uh, when when I don't see the sun for several days, it, I take a dip, you guys. And I, I didn't quite understand what was going on. And it was a different kind of depression than, than I was having in Hawaii when I was getting plenty of sunshine. So I don't quite know the make of it. I'm not one for going to therapists and doctors. So I spent a lot of time praying and asking the Father to help me um, with this. So I'm asking you as well um, to pray for me. Um, you know, this is a break in my heart going through this. Uh, I miss my kids, um, my animals, and it looks like I've lost all my bees. Uh, last time we were in court, the judge was told only one of my hives had survived. So that really was kind of traumatic to hear. I caught every one of those hand by hand invest a lot of money in those bees and they're gone. And so I feel, you know, pretty bad about that. Anyway, I wanted to catch up with you guys and, and let you see that I'm okay. I'm still here. Uh, I've just been very busy. I've had to put the, the uh, personal code searches on hold for a few weeks because this is, is excessive that I'm having to deal with several hours a day. And I can't get through more, no more than that, you guys, before I start getting upset. 
and uh, a little pissed off, uh, quite frankly, at, at um, what I'm having to go through. So um, if you would, just keep me lifted up. And if anybody would like to help, let me just show you this, because some of you have asked, and uh, I'm not sure you're, you're seeing this on my YouTube page, but if you go to my YouTube page, and this is what it looks like here. Over in the far right corner, there is a link to donate. Um, you know, I realize I haven't been on YouTube. You guys haven't seen me, and I haven't seen any donations come in. I have to be on YouTube before, you know, you guys donate. So, and the other thing is, <laughs> you know, my numbers are really down on um, posting. And uh, it's not by choice. It's, you know, I'm forced to have to deal with this. But you can, as you can see, for this month, it's a whole $36 there. So, um, yeah, keep me in prayer, you guys. I'm living on fumes right now, and uh, I could use your help. For those of you who are not friends with me on Facebook, you may be wondering where I've been with the studies, the Sabbat studies. I've been posting on my Facebook, if you guys are friends with me. You can see a post today, a link today that I'll post for you know, we're going to get together and um, my friend Jacob, uh, the Sephardic rabbi I've been telling you guys about, has been doing studies and uh, I've, been, I've been sitting in with him and supporting him, lifting him up. He is very much like Zev Porat, you guys, um, in his story. Uh, he's been walking with Yeshua for about a year and a half and uh, his whole family is super religious in, um, in Judaism. So Sephardi, and I uh, was very knowledgeable, and um, I think he is an asset to the Hebrew Roots movement, you guys. He is he's a great guy, but he's going through some things, too. So I'm, I'm asking you to lift him up as well. He's actually on the road right now traveling in um, Wisconsin and meeting with a Hebrew group there. And, um, you know, he's kind of on the fence. i got to be honest with you. There are days where he's discouraged and he thinks about going back to Judaism and uh, a handful of us are trying to keep him pulled back from, from doing that, keeping him lifted up in prayer and, and giving him opportunities to teach because that's his, that's his heart is to teach the word and to teach Torah to people. And so I'm trying to encourage him. Others are trying to encourage him to um, just walk in faith with, uh, with you and this. Um, a lot of his family does not know that he's doing this and this is why i had to take down the video that i put up of him singing in a shabbat uh, it's because i realized his family does not really know uh, well, a lot of his family doesn't know what he's what he's is now and so if they see that on youtube it could be a big scandal so i had to pull it down to protect him but lift him up keep him in prayer he's a precious soul and uh, he's searching you know he's he's asked the, all all the questions that many of us who came out of christianity but, but from the Judaism side, right? So it's not just come out of her, my people from Christianity. It's also Judaism and Islam, by the way, because Abraham's seed, right? Um, anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys. Um, again, keep me in prayer and uh, darling prayer and that we can get through this quickly and civil and uh, without any you know, bruises and bumps and things like that. Shalom to you. I love you. We'll see you in the next video.